beautiful thing. I like that. Thank you very, very much. Um, uh, just just a couple things, and, and I don't want to get into an extended debate on this. I do want to get to the economy, and I want to thank you all for being here. But, but uh, the, you know, when, uh, when Reserve Trust got their master account, they were not classified as a fintech. It was three years later they did that. And then um, there's an outfit by the name of Jack Henry that did the same thing. But what's more important here is to know that when a, a secretary, a very important secretary, came to my office during the Trump administration, and I asked him about disclosure and conflicts of interest, he looked at me and said, that's none of your guys' business. A very important secretary. And I, uh, he didn't answer any of the questions because he didn't think I needed to know any of the questions when I had him in my office. Um, I could have tried to organize so we didn't have a vote on him, but the truth is I just voted no, and that was that. That's the first question. The second thing is, is that, Senator Toomey, I know you have great skills, and so does uh, folks across the aisle, to be able to come in here and, and try to persuade minds. And I know it's difficult, because it's difficult from our side to change your guys' minds too. But part of showing up is having that debate. And part of, that, part of showing up is having that debate before we have the vote. And God only knows what could have happened and didn't happen because nobody showed up. The last thing I would say is, is that I think you're giving Sarah Bloom Raskin way, way, way too much credit. I serve with a lot of folks here. And I'm sure when I get out of this position, they will continue to say, hey, John, would you consider this or consider that in whatever position I'm in, whether it's being a farmer in Montana or a meat cutter or whatever, and I would do the same thing that I think anybody on this committee would do, and that is I'll take a look at it, I'll give you a fair shake, but I ain't just going to do what you tell me to do. And you guys are making the assumption that Sarah Bloom Raskin made a request and they just rolled. I'm going to tell you, if that's the case, we got the wrong people on these regional feds. We ought to take a look at replacing all of those because if that's the process that's used for giving a master account, then we got bigger problems than Sarah Bloom Raskin. That's all, and I don't want to talk about any, any of that anymore. Just, we just need to try to make this Senate functional, and not showing up does not add to the functionality of the United States Senate, which I think we can all agree is pretty damn dysfunctional at this moment in time. I, um, I want to talk about child care, because it's something I hear about almost all the time when I go back to Montana, and I'm going to talk about housing, which is what I almost always talk about when I go back to Montana. And the question I'm going to ask you is, is uh, pretty simple, really, when it comes to child care, and I don't care who answers it. I think we got a huge problem. And I think, I, think, I think folks have figured it out. Because of the pandemic, when they were staying home, they looked at their bottom line and said, hey, I got more money not paying child care, not working, than busting my hump, working, and paying for child care. So the question becomes, if we're going to have affordable child care and accessible child care, because that's important, I think, uh, absolutely important in rural America, but probably important in urban America, too, if we're going to have affordable child care, how do we do that? How, how do we do that? Or do we just assume the private sector will take care of the problem? And if we do, how long will that take? Because my grandkids are actually in high school now. And when they were in child care, it was over 10000 bucks a head for them to be in child care 10 years ago. So does anybody want to respond to how we make child care more affordable, more accessible, and what role the government should play in that? I'm happy to take that question, Senator. Um, this is such an important issue, and that is why uh, addressing child care is um, both was both an important part of the American Rescue Plan, and also an important part of Build Back Better. So, I mean, here's the thing: it's um, you know, child care uh, businesses are you know they're out there every day trying to provide a service to American families. It's a service that's incredibly expensive to provide, especially to get the kind of quality child care workers that families need, and families can't afford um, those costs. And so the, the crux of what, um, what the president proposed in Build Back Better was to make it affordable for families to be able to, to pay for child care by capping the amount um, of income that families have to pay, so that um, while at the same time subsidizing those businesses so that they could provide high quality care with qualified care providers um, to families all across the United States. And, you know, we're already seeing um, just how challenged that industry is right now. The number of workers in child care has fallen over the course of the pandemic um, as child care centers have really struggled to make ends meet. Um, we've seen now that the money from the American Rescue Plan is going out to those providers, out to 
over 150,000 providers nationwide um, to help them uh, cover their costs during the pandemic. But all of this, it's it's about um, kids' well-being, and we know that quality childcare is important for our future economy. But it's also about making sure that parents can get to work. You know, we have questions about making sure that labor supply gets back to where it was pre-pandemic, and a lot of that is about addressing this this childcare crisis in America. Thank you. I'm out of time. Uh, I'd love to get to housing, and I'd, I'd love to get to some uh, job training issues, but I'll turn it back to the chairman and ranking member. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Senator Tess.